Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if else if and conditional logic number five. Or operator. You will now see the JavaScript Boolean operators and, which is two ands, or two lines right there in code toolbox. You can drag them out or simply type them. Let's try or right now. As a reminder, the or operator will evaluate to true if either or both the statements are true. If both are false, the OR operator will evaluate to false. We have a do this. We've provided you with the starting code that prompts the user to enter a day of the week and stores it in a variable. Add the Boolean expression to the if statement to use the OR expression. If it's a Saturday or Sunday, then write it's the weekend. Else, write can't wait for the weekend to get here. Over here, we have an example here, what we were just talking about. So two truths make a truth. A true and a false is a truth. A false and a true is a truth. But if both of them are false, then it's a false. So both of the conditions cannot be met for it to become true. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code. Over here, we have a variable, which is day, and we have a prompt which is going to ask the user to enter a day of the week. And then we're gonna write day is whatever the day is. Below here, we're gonna enter our code. We have an if statement right here. If something happens, right, it's the weekend. Else, right, can't wait for the weekend to get here. Hmm, seems pretty straightforward. So what we're really doing is using the or operator here. I am using a little bit different of a keyboard and it's kind of a hassle for me to get to that. So I'll actually be dragging this out most of the time. If we come down here, I know my if statement is gonna go within my parentheses. Well, what's gonna go inside there? Well, I know I wanna compare it to the variable day and I want that to be equal to either Saturday and we're going to put quotes around this because we want it to look exactly like that. And I'll talk a little more about that in a second. So on the first one, it's Saturday. Or, so we're going to drag our or statement out here. We want day, and this is actually a lowercase day, is equal to Sunday. Over here, our day is capitalized. We have to change that. Oops, that says say. There we go, day. If day is Saturday or Sunday, we are going to write it's the weekend. Otherwise, we're gonna write can't wait for the weekend to get here. Let's test our code out. Run. Let's do Saturday. It's the weekend, that's right. Reset, run. Let's try Sunday. Okay, it's the weekend, two for two. Let's just try one more. Let's try Tuesday. Can't wait for the weekend, so that works pretty good. Let's go back to these parentheses here. Instead of writing with a capital S, let's just write Saturday. If we hit okay, you can see it thinks it's something else because it has to be exactly like it is within the quotation marks. So be careful when you're writing out your code and you're getting the answer you want from the user. Looking back up here, we added an if statement for Saturday and Sunday that writes it's the weekend and otherwise it writes can't wait for the weekend to get here. That's really all we had to do for this lesson. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.